Hello. Hej alla. Oh, yes. Jalla. Ja, ja. Ja, men vi är up and tor, running. Tor i halsen. Tor in the house. Då så. All right. So, welcome back to the Sketchbook Heroes episode. With me, Ilias. Me, Robert. And me, Matthias. There you go. On this episode, we're going to be talking Inktober. We're going to be talking to Matthias about Inktober. And we're going to be talking about Matthias' webcomic oh, yeah. together with Tracy. That's true. And what is Tracy? Maybe we should. Say <laughs> what is what, Tracy? What, what, <laughs> well, Tracy, she's a human being. No, but she. What is Gamora? <laughs> <laughs> That's fun because she works as a writer at Netflix right now. Very cool. That's amazing. So, yeah, so it's great. So, just before she went to back to the States and San Francisco, right now she lives in Tucson. But um, then she. Tucson. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, but she. Thanks, dude. She wanted to, you know, stay in contact. And she said, like, hey, let's make a comic together. That is pretty cool. And then I just felt like, wow, yeah, I I really want to do that because you have so many cool ideas. So, yeah, so I don't know if we're going to talk about it right now. No, or is I, I think we, we will we'll keep the intro short today. Yeah. And not <laughs> as derailed as 20 minutes of derail like last time. <laughs> well, that's always the thing. <laughs> that's our thing. <laughs> no, today we are on a tight deadline. We yep. are going to the movies again, but this time with Matthias. Yeah, but it's Inktober. It's the movies. It's the podcast. It's, it's a lot of things. It's life. Yes. It's Live, life. die, repeat. That's, mm-hmm. yeah, that's Inktober. Uh, so how you been? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Uh, <laughs> just like trying to recover from last day, like the the, the previous October, mm-hmm. uh, trying to get my eye to stop twitching and <laughs> do the show. Yeah. Otherwise, it's good. Like the knee is healing up, although slowly. And you know, like every time you it gets a little better and you feel it, you stop appreciating it and you want the next thing. Yeah. You know. So. But, but, but you, can, you can walk faster now, which is yes, great. Which is great. You it's can actually almost keep up, yeah. which, is, which is sad because now I can't escape you. No. <laughs> I can still laugh at you. Yeah, you walk like an old man. I do. And I walk worse than an old man right yeah, now. Yeah, you do. I have fuck, this fucked like, old man. But, but you know, fucked old man. <laughs> it kind of looks like <laughs> you're dragging something. Yeah, so yeah, imaginary you're dragging something behind. No, but I have one of those like ball and ch- invisible ball and mm. chain on my left foot, so it looks like I'm dragging. And you that. are the only one that's married here, so yeah. yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> my wife would appreciate that. Joke. Of course, thank you yes, so much. Yes, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll save that one and just send it to her. <laughs> <laughs> Matthias, how are you, buddy? Screw it, this guy. <laughs> yeah, screw this guy. No, it, it's good actually. <laughs> Even if I have a loads of stuff doing right now, but I mean, right now, this is great. Sitting here, just chilling and gonna go watch the movies and everything like that. So I mean, yeah, that's great. Sweet. We're we're so happy to have you here, bro. Yeah, like, I'm happy to be here. It's great. Good, just good to have company. Like, yeah, yeah, it's really nice. I to mean, have you you guys been for... mocking me for weeks now about that yeah, dartboard, yeah. but sadly we don't have a time to you know. I, I want to prove myself, but I there's no time you've for been, it. No time. You've Sadly. been training <laughs> since then. <laughs> Guys, you've been montage. training. We don't do dartboards anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a thing. Oh, man. But, dude, Robert, how have you been? I have been good. Uh, I am officially on vacation, which is, well, I guess, thank you for yeah, the cheers wine. Cheers on that. Okay, let's do that. Let's cheers. Do, uh, cheers. Ching, ching. Ching, ching. Oh, we're doing it. Score, 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 score. There, there, go. Go. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it would perfect. be fun if we just <laughs> broke the glasses <laughs> and, <then> like, <laughs> and that's the end of the show. And that's that. Yes. No, I, but it's uh, it's been a very hectic week. Uh, Inktober does not help at all. I was hoping that I would be over sort of the the worst of it, but no, no, it just kept going down and down. Yeah. I'll, and I'll, down. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get yeah. into that. Yeah. So uh, but apart from that, Santa has moved in. I am yay! not. Yes, I'm not alone anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I never get enough free time. That's yeah, the rest yeah, of the podcast now. Exactly. Everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> and we're <laughs> back. <laughs> yeah, she never listens to this. So we're fine. We're fine. Um, oh, you're past that point now. Yeah. Where she gives a fuck. <laughs> 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 yeah. How fast can we do this intro? <laughs> uh, intro song? No. 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 <laughs> uh, thank you for like all the activity on Discord, all the activity around Inktober. And all the awesome people that are in the Discord that are doing it. Sounds wrong, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing it. And also thank you, Undeverket, for the awesome studio that we get to use weekly 
for our shenanigans. And thank you, Matias, for joining us. And being also, awesome. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Let's, yeah. Let's just go. Boom. Artists of the world unite. Step out of your comfort zone into the danger zone. Welcome back. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that is just so strange being here because I'm just so used to hear that intro song all the time, and now it, we don't hear it. It's no. just like yeah, straight straight back to it. Yeah, it's no, just lie. It's, it's, it's just, it's just it's lie. lie. Yeah, it's, it's a lie. Like, I have it as a what do you call it? Tinnitus. Is that it? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's like Tin- always in my ear. I don't know how ear, you say it. In ear. I don't know the God. pronunciation. Do you mean the constant beeping or the constant intro song? All the, the constant, constant intro, intro song <laughs> that <laughs> everyone has. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it haunts my dreams. Uh, but yeah, Maddie, yeah. back in the shop. Back in the shop, third, t- third, third time, right? Is yeah, la- yeah. Last time I was here was together with William. Will? Yeah, but then I were more of a sitting in the back. I mean, there might have been more, but we might have been too drunk to remember. So yeah, you keep it. I mean, just <laughs> keep us tradition, you know. Yeah, we popped yeah. another wine, so. That's the thing. Right? Oh, but I think last, the first time I was where we emptied a whole bag yeah, and box, the, right? <laughs> and that was like, what, yeah. two, two liters? Yeah, that was insane. <laughs> yeah, not great. Well, not do, <laughs> let's not do that again. <laughs> no, we did worse. Me and Robert did one of those by ourselves. Yeah, yeah we did. I was hungover for two days. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the third day, I was normally hungover. <laughs> 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 like the day after, I was so drunk, you know, and hungover that I can yeah, I can yeah. hangover. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you, I just want to start because you mentioned Discord. Yeah. And uh, as I'm also a member of that Discord. And what? I just, you I, are? What's, what's your what? handle? I, yeah, no, but uh, the thing is, I just <laughs> want to say that also that I just find that community. It's really fun. And it's really mm. fun to just every morning. Just to watch the daily mug shots, mug shots, you know. <laughs> Love that. And I ignore them. Yeah, it is, it's great. <laughs> uh, it's just fun. It's a fun and silly community. And I think that you guys who are listening to this, you should join. So just go to yeah. the Discord, Sketchbook Heroes. Okay, let's, yeah. do, let's do a mug shot with the wines. Robert, uh, uh, come on. I'm coming. Robert. I'm coming. Come on, mug shots. Hello. The daily. <laughs> I don't even know if you can see the glasses, but it was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so you will get to see that shot next week. There you go. Or maybe immediately. Yeah, uh, probably. Yeah. I'll forget for next week. <laughs> I'll just post it. <laughs> Save it for the takeover. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's the. <laughs> <laughs> We're drunk. <laughs> Woo! Yay. That's how you do it. Apparently, my telephone has given me a uh, notice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hi, I am your phone. Telephone notice. Oh, nice. That's because you have the, the, the text hidden so that people that look at your phone don't see them. Ah, yes. And that's yeah. secret. But you guys, you've been really busy when it comes to October. Because, I mean, I used to take the back seat on that one. I'm not really... You're still doing You're it. Still doing I'm it, still though. doing it. I mean, I follow the prompts and stuff, but, I mean, I'm taking that as a, as a really fun side thing because I enjoy the community of it. And i I never really been fully committed any year when I've been doing it. Because, mm. but now this year I've been doing it every single day, and I'm following the official prompts too. I think which, which you're doing it the right way. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I was gonna say. That's what I hate the most about what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, is that you're doing it, and right. you're just like, you know, so casual about it, and just like enjoying skip, yeah. it. Yeah, but I mean, you're. And, I like mean, you, you actually sound energized and happy, <laughs> and and like you can see that little sparkle in your eye, yeah, but, uh, and that little spittle in your wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, as I mentioned to you guys before, I kind of see it like a Christmas calendar almost mm. because I never prepare. Every time, every morning I wake up, I like, oh, I wonder what today's prompt is. 
And today it was moon, mm. which was perfect for you, Elias. You always draw I've already moves. done <laughs> this <laughs> prompt yeah. 30, no, 17 times already. Yeah, just post <laughs> one of those. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know you guys. You prepare, uh, at least. Prepare, yeah. yeah. I, I, are you guys still Are you still I'm preparing so stuff? Or? Yeah, I'm so behind. No. So yeah, there is no, I'm on the day. I'm on the day. So uh, there is no prepa- there is so preparing on the day. We're kind of with you, but just have to do all of that extra work. Extra work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Which but makes I, me angry. Yes. Because yes. <laughs> the thing is that with you, Robert, it's so fun <laughs> to follow your, you know, continue your story about that little skull guy. Thanks, mm-hmm. dude. And this is fun, especially as I also love comics, and that is so similar to a comic book. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I mean, also you, I mean, you also, you know, all it's fun. Okay. It's pretty but much the same thing, really. Like yeah, but mine isn't telling a story like I can like a what do you call it like a like a you don't have linear, the narrative linear yeah, yeah, yeah it's not a linear story yeah, but, it's just, but, but, but still, it's still the story it's like every piece yeah, it's is storytelling yeah. which is like I would say it's almost more impressive in a way like to to create oh a like an actual story from just that one image. Whereas mine is more like in your face. This is what's happening, you know. Mm-hmm. But so, I, I like yeah. that. I like that. But though. but thank you. Yeah, but as a still, I remember when you mentioned, like I think two or three weeks before October, that you were planning to make this kind of comic idea. I yeah. felt like, oh, wow, that sounds so <laughs> inspiring. I want to do something similar, but nah. I just like, okay, what's going on today? Dude. Roof. I don't want to draw a ro- <laughs> ro- ro- roof tiles. I make a I just make a derpy dog saying roof Dude. instead of something. <laughs> that was fun though. But that's so great. Like yeah, but, seriously, that is that's how Inktober is supposed to be, I think. And that's the fun part about it. When you go in and you check the hashtag and you just go through everything, mm. just how weird people's ideas for each word is. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's so impressive. Like but, mm. and not a single one is the same. Like, no, exactly. It's no, just, it's so fun to see the creativity that's going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that is the best part about it. But that's what I hate about it now is that it's disappeared for me. Like that, uh, the romance of Inktober is gone now. (laughs) And it's just because I have started this epic fucking comic book thing. Mm -hmm. I hate it. (laughs) (laughs) I like, I don't want to do it anymore. (laughs) I'm so fucking fed up with it, but I still love it. And now I have a little bit more time to actually put into it, but it's still. But but you can see that in the quality of the work as well. It's like going it's, up and down constantly. Yeah. One day I have, you know, one and a half hours. The next day I have four hours. Mm. Mm. And so, yeah, we'll see how it goes now. But I am so fed up with it, you know. No, nah, totally understandable. But it's like you, Elias. It's so fun to follow your struggle in your live streams. No, oh, dude, but the live <laughs> streams is actually what's making it fun again. Because I was, like, when I got on the day, that's when the stress kind of ramped up. Mm. But then... You know, the live streams were because just before I started the because my problem is not the drawing. It's the actual idea phase, you know, like getting to the idea, Mm. like finding what the hell the prompt is going to be within the world that I've created. So the stress comes with not being able like uh, which one was it? It was tick. Mm hmm. That was really hard. I don't remember what I did. Now, what did I do? I did. You oh, did, yeah, yeah, you the, did the, the wind-up guy. Yeah, yeah, the wind-up yeah. antagonist the, the new, for the, yeah, new, the character. new character. Yeah, mm. uh, and that took forever. Yeah, like once I figured out that I wanted that character, though, like I was because because first I thought that Opa was going to fight herself, mm-hmm. but I didn't have like a prompt for it. Yeah, and then I was like, okay, but now I got tick, and I was like, ooh, wind-up because I was looking through Pinterest and I just saw this toy with the wind-up thing on the back, mm. and I was like, that's how I do it. Yeah. I'll make this sort of hooded character that is sort of the same size as Opa, has clothes like Opa, but not wings and stuff, mm. fabric, and just like, they look somewhat similar, but it has that wind-up mechanism to it. And I want to see the rest of that. Yeah, exactly. Whatever yeah. happened there, you know? Yeah. It's, that's the cool, again, it's storytelling. It's just like, there's yeah. so much that you can imagine from that mm. image with them facing off. Mm. It's perfect. And I was thinking that that, 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 like in the image, it's just black because I have the white moon behind it. Mm. But I was thinking that you see the character, it has this aura around it, but the, the, the wind up thing in the back is magic as well. So you mm. get the aura and the aura is like the, the wind up thing, the key is magical. It's not oh, so it's physical. Not an, oh, okay, okay. So it is some type of control or something or somebody like, is Yeah. Maybe. So it's not a mechanism in per se. Cool. It's a mind control, but you know, with a different twist to it. Nice. But do you know like in a future prompt already when 
that person might come back. I thought of doing it the other day, trying to that the collide one. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was thinking that they could collide somehow, but I just couldn't make it work. Like, because because first I thought that they were going to collide, like this classic samurai thing mm-hmm. where you get these like they've crossed each other and they're like standing in their poses, you know, mm-hmm. with the after they've drawn their swords and. That's what I was thinking in the moonlight, but then I just like that doesn't like I can't figure it out and make it cool for both of them. Yeah. So I just like okay, I'll do like a repeat from last year because I I like the idea of that one, but I didn't do it justice when Opa was running and cut off the Rat King's head. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I thought like okay, <clears throat> I'll revisit that one and do it like with the sort of experience and stuff that I have now, mm. and I think that it turned out way better than last year's. Yeah. I think I haven't checked. Uh, <laughs> I just have it in my head that I wanted to do that one better, and I think the one that I'm making today, which is uh, Moon, Moon, yeah, I've drawn a lot of moons, uh, but I'm revisiting the one where Opa was holding like the sword up, and you had the magic go out of the page. Mm. I hated both the first version. The second one that I did last year was also like it was okay. It was better than the first, but it was shit. So this year I thought of like I'll revisit that one, yep. but I'll turn her around. I'll add the moon and the crescent moon this time to kind of just try something different and see what happens. So Because we'll that, that is one thing that I noticed with your intro mm-hmm. this year that last year and the year previously when you did the Zelda one, the mm-hmm. Link, that was mostly you saw the back of the characters Always, all the time. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But now you're exploring more when it comes to facial features and yep. you know the. The front of them and side mm. and everything. So that's and also fun. you're giving yourself the just because you added the 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 microns and and yeah, line yeah, work yeah, stuff all that the you can tools, actually yeah. do proper faces now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, rather than just working the parallel pen and just being yeah, so I ruined limited. so many faces yeah. both last year and the year before that. Trying to get you know like sometimes like if I've done something to the paper, uh, it. it can sometimes just make in certain areas of the paper make the 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 the, the parallel pen like like bleed. Yeah. So some like I was drawing like I did her eye, and then you know when I did the eyelash, something around that area of the page just like started Stuck. bleeding. Oh, okay. Yeah. So <laughs> she was blind in one eye, so I had to do something. You know, like oh, <laughs> just, and and then you've drawn like the rest of the image. Because usually I start like, oh, this is like the background trees there. And then Opa will be right about here. I plan it out and I draw like several pieces. And then, you know, <laughs> you've put so much down and then you do the face and you just like, blarp. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, so. but that's the thing. Because, I mean, last year, didn't you draw on really not like... A5. Yeah, A5. Yeah, and now yeah. it's more... Didn't, now the time is bigger than it's A4. It's A4. No, it's, it's wider it's than bigger, A4. Right? It's quite bigger, right? It's wider oh, than yeah, A4. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the American A4. <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever <laughs> that, that is. is. It's wide four. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> that gives you much more freedom to actually draw some facial features. Because, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. last year it was more of a... Super tiny. It was a ball, yeah. dot, basically, for an eye. So, I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it was more difficult. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's what I love about it, too. Like, that you are expanding the universe mm-hmm. you're expanding the toolkit and you're expanding p- pretty much everything mm-hmm. about the the property or the yeah. IP that you have uh, so again it's just the perfect natural progression mm-hmm. of your inktobers like yeah, it's yeah. Such I want to take it to painting though like yeah. I want to like do the what gouache I do. thing in my I think head. even I'm going to go more advanced I think I'm going to go either acrylics or <clears throat> oil painting like oh. I really want to push the scale and the complexity of the things. And I think that oil paints could really push some of the concepts. Uh, but and you over the cliff. And, and uh, me over the yeah. cliff, yeah. <laughs> that, that's the thing. That's why I think ac- acrylics yeah. might Easy. be the place to go. Start. Yeah. yeah. Start, like, learning how colors work and how they blend with yeah. brush because I'm not – I don't know anything about those things. Yeah, I only tried oil paints once, and that was in mm. school. And I loved it, actually. Mm. It was really – because you – <laughs> you realize that if you left the painting for a night or whatever, you could just continue doing it and work yeah, on it. Yeah. And also, it's the, I know, the final finish of it. Oil paints always have this lister kind of glossy feel to it yeah. that feels way more alive than acrylics. Yeah, Because yeah. yeah, yeah. acry- <laughs> acrylics always becomes a bit more matte in yeah. a way. You yeah. need to, like, put some sort of a finish on it. The varnish yeah. part, yeah, the var- though, that is porn. 
Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. Every yeah, time yeah, yeah. I see that, I'm just like my eyes and my brain is just like fap, 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 fap. Like it's so <laughs> satisfying. It's like whatever people enjoy about ASMR that I hate. Yeah. I that's get what that. You get. Yeah. yeah from same, that shit. Same. I'm just like pour it slower. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's like those videos when they um uh fix like old paintings oh, and they yeah. clean them up. It was like, it's oh so satisfying yeah, yeah. and gratifying. But it's like, have you seen the guys yeah. that, that just like mix colors around with like a, like one of those like a uh, spot that, I don't know what they're called. Spatula. 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 Yeah. No, 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 I don't no, know no, if it's, they're. It's Spatula now. Spatula. Spatula. It's German. Spadel. It's Spatula. Yeah. Spatula, Spatula, Spatula. <laughs> I made you out of clay. <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen that. No, Elias. I have not. Yeah. 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 But it's awesome. Like they just like take these like, you know complementary colors or you know like crazy pinks with reds and just like smear them around and they get these like uh they're just gorgeous color combinations when you like spread them around before they become you know the one color mm -hmm. you just oh, it's so satisfying it's like when you're gonna you know when you smear butter on an oven tray yeah you're like oh I, I'll, I'll continue Dude, i'll, I'll do it exactly. an extra minute because <laughs> it's just so satisfying it's that <laughs> with colors it's that with colors so let's say you have three colors when when you do, when you don't blend them hard, you still get all the colors. You know yeah. when you sort of smear them out. Yeah. So you get that sort of pleasing effect, and it's like really thick as well. Mm. So that's I think that's why it looks so goddamn good. I've mm. gotten really into just watching people fix up old rusty tools. Yeah. Same yeah, yeah. thing there. I yeah. I can't remember the channel now. It's like the mechanic or something like that. When With they use Jason like the, them. when they use uh, electronics and water and stuff, right? Well, they use everything, sandblasting and polishing and doing like, but like I found this old rusty ax and then they just polish it up mm. to make it look brand new. And it's so satisfying. And there's no talking. It's just uh, oh, okay. the it's sound just the of the tools working. Oh, right. So it's kind of ASMR in that sense. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen that one. It's, uh, it's so gratifying. <laughs> like that is, again, it's like YouTube uh, wanking. I don't know if you guys been <laughs> mental, have mental you, wank. Have you guys seen Nerdforge? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I saw a similar clip like last week when they did that with an old book press, mm. and yeah, it was exactly like that. It was just rusty, mm. found it somewhere back in a barn or something, and brand new. But and speaking of nerd, just to move on, we're gonna be on fucking Comic Con. Oh boys. heck yeah! Oh yeah, shit. Let's um, uh, our own booth, even. Yeah, we're not even gonna be in the artist alley. We're gonna no, be we in are the fucking like, vendor alley. We are. <laughs> we're special. Yeah. <laughs> and no, we're poorer. Right, and yeah. right now we're we struggle poorer, with poorer. what we actually gonna <laughs> sell. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Yeah. I am so fucking stressed about this. Yeah. So let's dive into that. Okay. How? Let's start off with Maddie. How did this come about? Yeah, this all started almost two years ago, I think. Because it was me and it was three co-workers and friends of mine, Aurelia, Sarah, and Roberta. We've been talking about, we were so eager to do this thing, the Comic-Con. We always want to be there and have a booth or something. And we felt like, yeah, why not? Let's let's go big. Let's have an own booth and we can just split the price with, with each other and everything. And, of course, we were planning to go last year. And the Rona came so we couldn't go. And uh, yeah, so and you know, unfortunately, both Roberta and Sarah they didn't feel to do it anymore. And also yeah. now, just a couple of days ago, Aurelia also felt that now, sadly, she couldn't go either. Which means that it's uh, it's a sausage fest. It's only us because I reached out to you guys and asked, like, hey, would you want to join? Would you want it to do? <laughs> Yeah, we uh, definitely did not. Did not. Did, no, did not want not. to. No, so I for I forced you. He forced us. Yeah, Hi, yeah. Matt. He he <laughs> went into my bank account and took the money. He's <laughs> like, you have a table now. <laughs> <laughs> now you, you, you better two. figure something out to sell. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Oh, yeah. I'm so stressed about yeah. that. But yeah. we'll get, we can get into that. A bit. But we are Just, getting into that now. So this is the fun thing because we were talking about this yeah. last week, like yeah. exactly one week ago. And, and just, then, and then the day after, yeah. we get this from you, Maddie, and it was like again, you know how I I talk a lot about like the universe and stuff, how you send signals out, and then all of a sudden the Cocaine universe just like mm. yeah. wah, and just rolls <laughs> out the red carpet for you, and here I, you go, dude. 
that's kind of what it felt like. No, for me it felt like because we talked about it. <laughs> the universe we were like, giving you the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but it was just like we talked about. It. I was like, no, nah, fuck, it's expensive because it's not. It's not like the 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 artist alley is cheap. Hmm. Like you know, Ish. like you can always no, but I mean, I mean you can always get the money on, back. Yeah, you know what I mean if you have decent prices. Mm. Uh, but I was just like, oh man, I have nothing really to sell. Like it's like I don't think I can make the money back. And that was sort of like the headspace that I was in the day before I talked to you again, because this was you and me talking, and yeah. I was like, "Nah, fuck, I want to," but it's like, no, it not doesn't this feel year. like it's worth it. No, but I have yeah. nothing. You know, like what sells on Comic Con, like the only place and time where you can sell, sell fan art, you know, because that's what people want. Yeah. But I was like, I have nothing. Like I don't even have anything in my backlog that I would like sell there as fan art or anything that I. But but then I talked to Matthias the day after, and we're talking, and I'm just like, but it would be so fun. Mm. Mm. And, you know, you think back to, like, 2020, and you're like, what a shitty year. Like, Yeah, you, we need to make it back somehow. Like, yeah, we're yeah exactly. And, yeah. and I just felt like, nah, you know what? I'll do this, like, for a loss. Yeah. Just to, just do, to something. do something. Something. Yeah, just get exactly. out there. Be spontaneous. Waste money, yeah. you know, mm. and just see what happens. Because yeah. I think those are the times, at least for me, where I've been the most successful. Yeah. Like yeah. just throwing myself out there, feeling uncomfortable about it. And then, you know, sort of like do the beavis and butthead thing where you jump out of a plane and you <laughs> run really fast, you know, yeah. trying to like hit the ground <laughs> running <laughs> and see what happens. Yeah. It does not work, by the way. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but that's the thing. You never yeah. know. But just for, for us as a podcast to be out there, I think yeah. it's perfect. It is perfect. Uh, for us dudes to hang out, it's <laughs> Again, amazing. Yeah. Like we just get a weekend together to sit sweaty at a booth and mm-hmm. try to communicate somehow. I don't know how this will work. Neither do I. Uh, and then, yeah, if we have stuff that we can sell, maybe we can sell it. Like, yeah. that's kind of the thing. Except that <laughs> Matthias did prepare. So no. blah, 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 blah. I got prints and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, but that's the thing also. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but... On my I, live stream, Matthias. <laughs> on my live stream yeah, while yeah, I was yeah. drawing for my life. You're like, oh, by the way, I sent, you I, know, my prints. I don't want to stress you out or anything, but I but already <laughs> sent for prints. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, but I wonder how you guys feel about it. Because let's say every time that I wanted to let's say, update a portfolio or something. You just want to cram it in with new stuff all yes. the time because you think yeah. that the thing yeah. that you did last week, they are not good enough. Mm. And I, of course, have that feeling with Comic-Con too. I just want to produce and make brand new stuff, brand new stuff yeah. and just throw yep. out there. And then you realize, well, I don't have time for it. Mm-hmm. And I know that so- people appreciate some stuff that I did like two years ago. Mm. So why not just try to? But I think you're in a good place with your stuff, like yeah. the, the stuff that we talked about. Uh, I mean, it's a uh, it's Comic Con, and you know, as you said, people buy tend to buy fan arts and stuff, yeah. and also it's a perfect place to sell fan arts. Also, I think so, it's I mean, uh, the gray area of mm. selling other people's IPs. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. It's not really For a sure. thing that you put on your own, let's no, say, no, online dude. store or whatever. No, but. No, no. It's no, Comic Con I mean, and you know a limited run and, and, at Comic Con. Mm, like and if, to be fair, since you were here last, you've started doing so much more for children's books and just different sort of IPs in general. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So you have already started growing your name in mm-hmm. the the geeky and art uh, community here, the Swedish at least in Sweden. Community, yeah. So I think for you, this is perfect like you should be you have to be at this convention like there's no question about it yeah, uh, no, so we're just backing you up here <laughs> <laughs> and being the geeks and tools that we are from the sketchbook mm. heroes sort of no but I, no it's great no yeah a because lot of you have you have books you've got material you have all of this stuff and then you have all the other stuff yeah, yeah you no. know what i mean like, yeah no exactly no it's been quite a crazy year i mean and that's the thing. I mean, you haven't really been able to do anything else. So mm-hmm. I just was seeking, you know, what can I do? And how can I be creative since I can't do anything? So let's just create stuff at home. Yeah. And, no, but l- and and luckily mm-hmm. it went really good. So, yeah. I'm, you should be really fucking proud of what you have accomplished and still are accomplishing. Yeah, mm-hmm. thank you. Just throwing it out there for people that might not be following Matthias. Mm-hmm. Go check out his stuff. It's amazing. And like, 
well, next time he's going to be here, he's going to be too busy to be here. So but the, yeah, yeah, and the best thing about <laughs> Matthias, I think, is that like for for he's the industry, yeah. that too, like <laughs> nicest people ever. Some of my other close friends are. Also, from like Norland. this is his yeah. most stressed state. I think <laughs> <laughs> it's just sitting. Like, oh, what, what, what is that like? He's calm. Yeah, fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> but, but, but I think the the qualities that you have as a commercial sort of illustrator and stuff like it is that you know your style. You know it well. You know what I mean? Like, you know mm. how to draw a shoe and how you draw a shoe. Like, <laughs> you keep going back to the yeah, shoe. No, no, no. But I think no, no, no. But it's just like for new people <laughs> listening. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, but it also pants, like the way that mm. he draws the folds, the way that he does, like it is consistently awesome. Like yeah. there is a, like it's like a machine is printing it out. You know what I mean? Like it is so, like so. So if he has to draw like some 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 kids at school, you got that down. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you yeah. don't have to like, oh, how do I draw kids at school? Mm. You got the fucking thing down already. You might need to look up some stuff, but you know, like most of it, you have it very sort of. Like within your style, and you're also very good at taking complex things and like adapting them to your style. You'll find it. If, I feel like you find it fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. Like how to like use something. Like let's say dragons, for example. Mm. That's one of your books. Mm. Like you took fucking dragons and you made not one dragon for the book. How many dragons are there in the book? Like yeah, a couple. Not, yeah, they know. Or monsters <laughs> and stuff. Like and and it's just like how you sort of take that concept and you just. It's my style now. This is it. There you go. Yeah, I guess I want to talk a little about that, about style. Because I remember that you guys mentioned that a couple of weeks ago. That might be like three episodes ago. Mm -hmm. But you were talking about you, what reference you had when you were growing up. You, both of you were really influenced when it comes to American, you know, superhero yeah, yeah, yeah. comic books and whatnot. Yeah. And cartoons. For, for me, for sure. I that was not a thing for me. I have, I never really read any of Spider-Man or Batman. Out. I... Yeah. I read Spawn, <laughs> but yes. uh, but um, I got super inspired <laughs> that. But I mean, my biggest influence that was Mitetan Carlson. That was my what's like, that in English? The ninety one Carlson. The ninety one. <laughs> yeah, but but this um, <laughs> Swedish soldier, basically. Or Dude, it's such a weird comic yeah. as well. Like when I you mean, think about it, like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's very niche. It's so niche, and yeah. I mean, it, it shouldn't be alive, but it's still it's still it's still running. It's still yeah. running. It's but I mean, weird, yeah. But that was that was my you know window into comic books because mm. I, I didn't really read Bum said that much either. It was no. it was Donald Duck and it was Nitetan. But you you have the like qualities of those. Yeah. But the thing is that just because I knew that Donald Duck that was you know an American comic book. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And for for little me that you know growing up in Sweden you you're not supposed to think that you can become something. So you didn't think that that is not that is not a Something you can something achieve, that yeah. I can achieve, but the Swedish comics. Yeah, I mean, I can become a comic artist in Sweden. So then I, of course, started to become really influenced by Nitetan or mm. Herman Hedning, or, or <laughs> that's not Swedish. It isn't, but <laughs> it's super popular here. God damn yeah, it. no, but um, same shit. <laughs> but also, that's <laughs> why <laughs> I studied that so much. So all that, as you said, it was funny that you mentioned the folds in pants. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. because. Even if I want to get rid of that, it's I still have that in my back in your bone. Wrist, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. God damn it, folds, get out of there! Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a, such a specific way of drawing folds, mm. and uh, even if I try, I can't no, get rid of it. But dude, I, I know what you feel because we talked about that early on the show about like controlling the 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 evolution of your drawing style. Yep. And it, it takes some time. Mm. Like for me, I was drawing really big eyes for a while. Mm. And, you know, I got into the American comics, you know, with J. Scott Campbell and Joe Madure. And, and I wanted to go that direction, but I was drawing these bigger eyes. And it took so long for me to kind of work that out of my style. Because mm -mm. back then I was looking for publishing or like uh, children's book stuff. Mm -hmm. And back then, you know. Now they're like, oh, anime influenced artwork is cool, you know. Mm -hmm. But back then they were like, oh, we don't want anime. No. Mm -mm -mm. And I was so like really trying. Yeah. Uh, and they were just like saying no, no. all it, the time. It just always look too much anime. Like anime. Or, yeah. Like it wasn't anime. If Manga. you saw it today, yeah. you'd be like, this isn't even close to anime. No. No. But you definitely you see the American influence. Yes. But, but the thing is, eyes. <laughs> anime had just sort of 
become this thing that everyone hated yeah. when it come to the like Western yeah. like fine culture, you know, the the the, the finer cultured <laughs> sort of children's book yeah. that we were publishing back yeah. then. Uh, so that was super frowned upon, and I couldn't get a job mm. or like freelance gigs. And it was so frustrating, but I did work it like it's not there anymore. But no, but was, I, like it takes time, like it's practice. Funny. Like the the only children's book that I ever did was uh-huh. with bigger eyes. They wanted that look. They wanted that yeah. look. Mm-hmm. So it's funny, like, and that was during that exact exact time. time yeah. So yeah, it's just still weird. still frustrates me to this day. <laughs> no, but yeah, I didn't but, get any money for it. But yeah, yeah, but it's, uh, there's a lot of especially back then. Mm-hmm. It, when you look at a lot of different I mean of course there's different styles and whatnot but I mean sometimes when it comes to children's books Mm -hmm. it feels a bit pretentious I don't know I mean I I totally agree and and of course there's nothing wrong with some of them of course Mm -hmm. but I mean I know all of us that's not really our style we kind of want to go a bit more to the comic bit Ruth or we're influenced of animated movies and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And back then, that market wasn't really that big. Yeah, we big, were but 15 years too early. Yeah, like, yeah. No, exactly. I mean, we had to get our stuff from, yeah. uh, like, the USA imports. Yeah, or, yeah, like, yeah, we always. never could get, like, normal movies. It was always Japanese or US imports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Same with the comics. were like, super hard to get by. Dude, remember what the, the price of those was? Oh, well. God. Oh, Jesus. I think I paid, like, I think that the, the most expensive movie that I bought was, like, almost 600 like that what is that like 65 dollars something yeah. that yeah for a movie that same. i didn't even know was good same yes i have a <laughs> lot of like, those <laughs> and, was, and this is vhs it's not like a fucking yeah. dvd with mm. extras no. it's just a fucking not even VHS a fancy tape. cover yeah <laughs> it's just plastic do you know how many times i paid like three four hundred or like three thirty yeah. forty bucks for a movie that didn't have the actor named on the cover no. The like, cover oh, Jackie good. Chan. Yeah, the yeah. cover looked good and it said like Jackie Chan. And Jackie Chan comes in in like two seconds at the end or something like that. You're like, I bought this Where's for it? you, dude. I bought <laughs> this for you. <laughs> Just use this name as a marketing thing. Yeah, worth worth the money. Yeah. Because <clears throat> um, what's that you, YouTube <laughs> channel? Of it still pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> what's that YouTube channel with... Um, TCC? No, but you know when they talk Cartoon about... Network? Mo- <laughs> <laughs> no, but they, when they talk about movies that... Oh yeah, bad flicks. What's it called? Oh, good bad flicks. Yeah, good bad flicks. Yes, Ben yes. Affleck. Because I mean, it's, or it's Joe Blow. No, but it's, it's so fun. They they mention it all the time when it comes back then. You know, when there was rental and VHS, mm-hmm. and just to you know stand out from the crowd, they focus so much. You're like, yeah, I mean, the movie is shit. We already know that, but at least just have a cool cover. Yeah, yeah because yeah. that will sell. In exactly. the rental stores. Yes, yes. that is such a um, fucking sneaky thing. And that's yeah. why I love the the Drew Struzan documentary. Oh like, yeah, I haven't seen it yet. The man but behind the poster. Mm-hmm. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely try to find it and check it out. Uh, it's amazing. But there's so many fantastic movies in there, like in the roster of stuff that he has done, mm. where the poster is amazing. And then you look at the movie, and it is the worst movie. Like <laughs> of Masters course. of the Universe, oh, for example. Course. Dolph yeah. Lundgren, He-Man. Yeah. Like, when yeah, you it, look at that poster, that is like the coolest movie that dude. you would ever want to see. And but then you all look the, at the movie. Dude, all the posters that he did, though. Yes. You're like, I want to see yes. it. Uh, did he do the um, Nightmare on Elm Street? No, no, no. That wasn't. That him. was not. Him. Right. But that was also uh, hand drawn. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, because yeah, uh, yeah, I always found that was really cool. Because I, I mean, I those. started to. Have you guys started watching the third season of no, the movies made? I just, just started the Halloween ep- the first episode. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I think the second one is the Friday. No, mm, mm, Terror on Elm Street. Terror on Elm Street. Mm. Yeah, mm. and then they're doing uh, Friday the Thirteenth too, right? So yeah, that was all, f- all three of them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, it's like Terror on Elm Street. That is, is, Elm that Street. is that, that's a Swedish. <laughs> it's Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, yes. on Elm Street. It, it's Good. the Swedish translation. It's yeah. Terror. What is the Swedish? Terror by Elm Street. Oh. Isn't it Terror on Elm Street? Yeah, it's Terror by Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, it is Nightmare on Elm Street. But the Swedish yeah. translation I is Terror. Not, no, okay. I, I think my know. DVD box set is Terror on Elm Street. Oh, actually. shit. I had no idea. Mm. Yeah. Maybe they changed the word. No, but th- it's from uh, CD on, I think. Yeah, oh, so all right, okay. It is probably the the Scandinavian. Oh yeah, yeah dude. Point. Sweden used to translate things Everything. back into English. Now, because the thing like, is, I like I the thought because yeah, I example. thought they may <laughs> might change the word terror since you know nine yeah. eleven or something to change it to nightmare on uh. them. <laughs> but yeah, 
Because I was thinking of yeah, oh, Teenage shit. Mutant Ninja Turtles. That was yeah. also... Yeah, you, you can't have that. They used to be called Teenage Mutant Terrorist Turtles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah and then they changed. <laughs> and then changed no, but here <laughs> in Europe, it was called uh, Hero Turtles. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. that was actually Britain. Like, the UK changed that. Mm. So, and then that spilled over to the rest of Europe. I think. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Dude, derails, of course. Uh, what are we looking forward to at Comic-Con, boys? Like this, uh, apart from stressing our asses off, I'm already sweaty. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know how to get anything printed to for Comic Con. I'm gonna. What bring. are we printing? What are we selling? What Nothing. are we doing? I don't think I'm selling <laughs> anything. At I this point, it's just like, what tables are we getting? <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> are paid we getting for more chairs. Hey, the, the thing is, we bought just more stuff. Yeah, I have nothing to put on said <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I have my original sketches. Yeah, that's all I have. I don't think I'll have time to prep prints. Honestly. I mean, I know what you're gonna sell, Robert, because I already bought, I oh, yeah. already bought one from you. So it's man, yeah, it's one of those have, Star Wars watched. ninja poster, no samurai. Yeah, how dare Storm you? Stormtrooper. It's ca- it's called the trooper. The trooper. The trooper. But also yeah. and the, Cub. Can you add Yoda? I'm Baby doing Yoda? that in the next one. Actually, oh. so uh, yeah, as that's what I'm gonna be trying to do for uh, Comic Con. I'm gonna try yeah. to do my. Uh, lone wolf and cub variation of the Mandalorian. Mm. So Mando with uh, somebody gonna get Grogu, <laughs> but as uh, yeah, that's cool. That's lone really, wolf and really cub cool. uh, as a similar type of. You're going poster. full circle, but in Sketchbook Heroes, you're going just straight circle to go back to the influence that they <laughs> were inspired from. Exactly. Our circle. That's is exactly it. what it means. <laughs> exactly. See, he told to, it. To yes. have a straight circle go back to the beginning, you have to fold it in the middle. <laughs> exactly. <and then. laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> just like the dog. <laughs> just like, <laughs> you know, there's That's a certain, no, no, we don't use <laughs> You can't go full circle with our no, no, circle. No. You have to fold Maddie it. Maddie made it sound keep. bright and, and good. So yeah. let's just keep keep it G- going. Yeah. 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 I don't good. remember what you said. I Straight circle. I do Fill me up, buttercup. Yeah, fill fill them up. I'm just gonna probably spill, spill them up, spill them up. Yeah, no. Uh, I've always want like both of you guys have been or Maddie, have you been on Comic Con as an artist alley before? No. Whoa. Jesus. Whoa. <laughs> I got the whole bottle. Oh well. Yep. And uh, no, <laughs> I good. the only time I've been there too <laughs> was when you guys were sitting there, uh, selling stuff. Uh, in Artist Sally, that was oh, okay. So th- it's gonna be the first time for both you and me to actually sit there. Yeah, no, I, n- I always been inspired when it comes to that small press expo mm-hmm. that also tend to be when you know people send their fansons and stuff, mm-hmm. fan signs, fansons, fan signs, sign. fanzines. But yeah, no, no I, I've been. I think it's seen. No, it's yeah, it's sign. we we actually magazine. Yeah, exactly. Zine. Zine. Magazine. Magazine. Zine. Zine. Okay, yeah, fuck, I'm yeah, not. That's, no. I mean, we Fan did sign. one. We Fan did zine. one in Austria. Fans, fans, fans. <laughs> I just found my... Now it's just yeah. weird. Let's never say that word it's again. It's a scene. Okay. Yeah, it's a scene. All did, right. We, yeah, magazine. The scene. But, the scene. <laughs> no, no, but the thing is that I always wanted to do something similar to that because it, I just love the vibe. You know, when you walk through Artist yeah. Alley when yeah, I was there awesome. last time where you were sitting, I mean, everyone's so happy. And yeah, uh, it's just um, it's all a charade. It's just a charade. <laughs> but yes. I mean, <laughs> you know, you won't sell anything. But you, but let's <laughs> say <is> miserable. <laughs> but if you're supposed to sell nerdy stuff, yeah, that we are doing, then you're on the right spot. Yeah, because yes. I mean, if you're trying to go to whatever flea market or something yeah. and try to sell your comics i mean nobody's gonna give a fuck agita 84 no. years old she will won't she won't buy it she's <laughs> like don't you have one with <laughs> <laughs> draw me another one clown, clown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> <laughs> have you seen my cat snuffles <laughs> <laughs> no, so that's the thing now it's gonna be awesome yeah especially to spend with you guys it's yeah i think that's nice. gonna be the fun part and i yeah. i was also thinking like things we could do to attract people to our booth uh, you know, like do some live drawing in the background. Like you're going to flex your muscles? Yeah. I did that last year. It did not help. No. Flex your the pencils. year before. <laughs> flex my pencils. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think that's a great idea. That's a good way to draw people in. Yeah, I think so as well. Uh, Since I have nothing else to do there. I was just like, <laughs> I have nothing. Then you just sell the wall. Yeah. <laughs> like anybody want to buy a wall? <laughs> <laughs> and then you just give it to uh, the Nerdit podcast. Yeah, yeah of and, course, uh, for free. Yeah. And then there yeah. you go. Yeah, <laughs> all good. Perfect. <laughs> Marketing, baby. Yeah. <laughs> we got one new listener last time. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Robin! 
<laughs> yeah, Robin. Yeah. We stole him from yeah. No, did. No. But if uh, you guys didn't get anything out of this, you need to go to uh, Comic Con yeah. and visit us. And uh, November 5th to 7th. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, like, go to an ATM, fill up your money, like, money's, you know, like, yeah. get your monies yeah. in yeah. your wallet, <laughs> and then give us uh, said, said monies. monies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Preferably, for the, for don't ask for anything in return. No. But if you really need something, Matthias will have cool prints <laughs> and Robert will have cool prints. I'll be there as Very well. Very limited uh, you supply can, of exactly. uh, cool prints. I have a couple of handshakes I can give out for like yeah. a premium price for being a famous person uh, starring in movies such as Skills. Oh, heck yeah. A and Swedish it, parkour classic. <laughs> like, And they're so <laughs> they're so weighty that it's almost a shake weight. Like, <laughs> the hand, hand you shake can get weight. a clammy <laughs> convention <laughs> handshake. Yes. A yes. bit sweaty, too. Yeah, yeah but clammy. You clammy. Know. Oh. Clammy means. Clibby. Clibby. Oh. Clammy. I see. Yeah. Sticky. Someone like clams. sticky hands. Yeah. Clams. 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 Did you say clams? Clams. <laughs> <laughs> no. You didn't. Yeah, you definitely did, yeah, did not. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. We need to move on. It's oh, 10 shit. to... Six hmm. and uh, our movie is. By the way, before we move on, yes. Matthias, where can we find the said comic? Yes, the web comic that you and Tracy are working on. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, so me and Tracy, who also yeah, as I mentioned before, she. Can you tell us what it's uh, a little bit about? Oh too? shit, we didn't like, even dive into we, that. Because yeah, yeah. It, this this has been so stressed and rushed, and we're yeah. Sorry no, about sorry. It. Now I will I will go I will do the full backstory. Now, so me and Tracy, we work together at King. Move it on, okay, Jesus. And, <laughs> and she worked you as work a for Jesus, okay? <laughs> Keep going. Oh yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Tracy and Jesus. This was <laughs> we're walking down <laughs> I came into a bar. Then <laughs> now but she was working at King yeah. pr- as a narrator Narrative designer. designer. Yeah. So she was writing stories basically what was going on in Candy Crush and I really need to hook up with this girl not in that way but actually like talk, <laughs> in the, talk in the, to in her in the working <laughs> kind of yeah. Yes, yes, and uh, she was from the States mm-hmm. and she moved back and uh, she wanted to just keep in touch because she said like hey you do you really draw fun stuff and I wanted to do comics with you mm-hmm. so we started out with a little fun comic that she just wanted to have about herself when it comes to when she was a kid and how much she loved Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, I love so, uh, Dude, so the first episode they released or the comic, the, that little comic that you did, I was like, why did they steal my life? Really? Like, yeah. <laughs> it feels like they stole my life story. Oh, Just put a girl in the, yeah. the sort of like the, the protagonist, but otherwise. That yeah, was super fantastic. cute. Basically, because it was a, you know, a true story how she adored Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when she was a kid and she wished to have a real turtle. And of course, <laughs> it wasn't really as cool as she thought it would be. No. I, it, I also had those. You got me a ninja-less <laughs> turtle? <laughs> <laughs> Without the ninja in it? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. No, but... Uh, <laughs> and yeah, and right now she writes this, this, this story about this bunch of game designers and developers who just, you know... It's um, people who works in the game, game industry, industry. Yeah. and this time it's game industry. It's I not. Mean, yeah, I I, I, I did a little <laughs> frog and sl- so I did a frog and slip <laughs> last time, on but um, game, 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 game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, game. <laughs> I got it right this time. Uh, yeah, Very good. Um, you got it right last time too, bro. But people who works <laughs> in the game industry, they the what? They <laughs> they might. Um, yeah, they, they'll recognize this yeah. world. So and really, really uh, no, it's but it's fun. It's really fun. So what is the name of it? <laughs> it's a Game Dev Adventures, and Game you can Dev. read it on webtoons.com. Com. Awesome. Uh, is it for free? On yeah, it's for web? free. That's amazing. And uh, oh yeah, my client told me about uh, the. Uh, the page sorry yeah Web but tunes. uh so basically yeah. there's two big platforms when it comes to web comics it's webtoons and it's tapas and uh what? It, there was and anybody can publish there right everyone can yeah anyone can publish and um how is it i think if you're managed to get enough readers on webtoons because mm-hmm. right now we're on something called webtoon canvas and that's the spot where wh- whoever can do it okay uh, but I think that you need to come up in uh, uh, a certain uh, amount of a certain views. amount of views or readers, and then you'll become like a Canvas member, and then you'll go to the okay. main site or something. Okay. So I, fi- okay, so I okay. think that 
Webtoon Canvas worked almost like a testing ground, I think, but it's okay, free okay, for everyone. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure exactly what the difference is between mm-hmm. those, but yeah, that's like the section where Very we are, cool, where yeah. we're at. But we, yeah, so we basically newly started, mm-hmm. and our um, cadence is like one page per week right now. Okay, okay, shit, you're doing uh, that on top of everything else. <laughs> and you guys don't even know how much he does. Like, you don't even know. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, my schedule right now is a bit hectic. Yeah, dude, you're, uh, you're, you're, like, your schedule looks like something someone on meth drew up. Like, it is insane. But <laughs> I was like, what is that? Like, I was just like, no. No, 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 I some no. yeah no I I question myself and, sometimes. And, and this being said, he also works full time as an artist. So it's yeah. not that he, you know, just does that thing like the comic and the books and the stuff. No, no, no. He has a full time job. But, it's called living the dream. But that's the thing because I remember because <laughs> I remember the first time I was here. That was that was the beginning of the pandemic. I think that was. Over like yeah, it was over a year ago. I yeah. I remember it was the pandemic kind of started. It wasn't really full full fledged yeah, yeah, super yeah. dangerous because I, yeah. I remember that I had some thoughts that should I really do this? Come here, you know, of course into you town and talk with you guys in this room dangerous. that you We're know the, the sm- sm- that smells that, that smells like eat. farts and everything. But um, but that's how you kill COVID. Yeah, that, like manly that's farts. How you kill COVID. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, nah, but um, but that's the thing. I think that's heard it here first. <laughs> I think that's the reason why I just said yes to a lot of, you know, jobs just because you knew you were gonna die. I knew that. <laughs> no, nah, but no, nah, but I knew at least that I will be at home. I won't do that much. I won't yeah. go out as much. There will be no concerts. There will be no hanging around with the friends in the you know that amount that you're used mm-hmm. to. Yeah. And the best of all, I mean our office closed and we were working from home. So, I mean, mm-hmm. I could take all those hours that you should go to, you know, commuting back and forth to, to work mm. and just focus on doing, you know, side gigs and stuff. So that's awesome. Yeah, that's great. So that was Such like a the, smart move. So that you, was yeah. the saving grace that I actually managed to do all and this. I, things. And I really wanted to dive into that. But since we are a bit on a rush, yeah. I really want to invite you back when, when all your books that are at least in production now that you can't talk about. It would be awesome to have you back and we can deep dive into this whole like children's book thing, make like a special episode around that. Yeah. And the way that you've established yourself on that scene. Like it is insane. Yeah. And also maybe do like a pre or a, what do you say? After an announcement. after uh, Comic Con thing as well. Just to oh, that would be awesome yeah. if you oh, want yeah. to come back. Yeah, that would so, be great. Like a quick week, just a, a quick talk about how, how that was, and then have you talk about that stuff. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah that, that could also cool. be a thing. Yeah. Now at least a less rushed episode. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Where we exactly. don't like more wine, <laughs> more wine, <laughs> but also less cinema and, and time. More talking. Yeah, yeah, and more talking. Yeah, no, so, absolutely. Plus, then you will get, like, a redemption with the darts, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we need yeah. to give you that. Yeah, I mean, the thing that. is that like, you, you fucking, get... The thing bad is, mouth you, man. Yeah, dark, no, the, the thing redemption. is that you guys already know that I'm better than you. So, I mean, that's why... Yeah, you're better than us. Mm. Better. Yeah, yeah we're better. just going to tease you now, you know yeah. that, right? Yeah, you know. We're mm-hmm. going to hassle you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hassle Huff you. <clears throat> I don't know what that we means. We do not hassle the Huff. Do not. No. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so... Uh, I think we should probably try to move on. Yeah. Uh, and this is leave. my fault, by the way, because I can't walk fast enough to the exactly. train so we can make the movie otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much Which it. is sad, yes, but true. It is very sad. It's not a Metallica song. It's a Metallica song. No, yes, please don't sue us. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like suing people. Uh, yeah. Don't sue us. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get sued? Because yeah. we know that Lars Ulrich, he is listening to this. Oh, he yeah. Is. So for sure. He, he loves Sketchbook Heroes. Sure. Mm-hmm. I yeah. heard him say. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a drum cover. Give me one. Give me two. Give me Sketchbook Heroes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah, I can. Get Move it. on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this garbage right. episode. Yeah. Toolies. We love you, Toolies. <laughs> <laughs> Matthias, tell us about yeah, your tell tool- us your tools. Oh, Toolies, tell us tools. about your Toolie now. No, oh, now straight. Okay, Wine. I got, I got five <laughs> minutes now. Uh, yeah, no, but a, a thing that I mentioned before, and you also said that you know I have a crazy schedule. I do a lot of stuff, and I tend to work fast. Is it 
mainly digital now? Yeah, yeah, or? now it, yeah, now it's mainly digital. Except from that, I find this little breather and do an Inktober, which I find <laughs> super fun. Shut your mouth. It's super fun and relaxing, you know, yeah. doing the Inktober. Shut your mouth hole. <laughs> I think this today is my first day that I actually have an Inktober before fucking, you know, midnight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me too. I also have an Inktober before fucking oh, heck yeah. midnight. <laughs> before you fucking midnight. Stop it. It's Don't actually ruin my thing. No, I did the fucking before the Inktober. Oh, so, cool. Yes, there you go. Oh, yeah. Thank you for sharing. That's very you cool. Guys <laughs> that I was drunk. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Robert is hungover. Yeah, that too. Okay. <laughs> the, tools, man. Okay. This will be difficult to explain without visuals and pictures. But um, oh, you mean like the rest of the show? No, but uh, <laughs> 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 no, but uh, my my software that I work in mainly because I totally left Photoshop because Photoshop for me is a yeah, you, I, it feels like you're drawing in crayons compared mm-hmm. with the Clip Studio that I work in. And uh, <coughs> Shield. What? Sh- what? What? Clip Studio <laughs> Shield. <laughs> yeah, that nah. was supposed to be funny, but... Uh, Nobody I, got my I joke, fuck it. it. Yeah, yeah I didn't even hear no, it. I just mean that he's sponsored by Clip. Oh, and oh okay. no, uh-huh. no, sadly not. But uh, <laughs> Clip Studio, uh-huh. if you... Come on. By Clip Studio, if you listen to this, <laughs> which I know that you're... They, are. they, they yes, love they are. this show. Everybody. I've heard yeah, them yeah, say yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every time. No, but uh, <laughs> I'm planning to do some sort of, uh, I don't know, maybe a bit of a tutorial or something on yeah. Instagram or something. Yes, I want it because I want to share this thing because it's reels. freaking yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah, the reels one, the reels on Instagram. Mm. It's the it, it's the it. vector yeah. layers mm. in Clip Studio. It is a time saver and mm. a lifesaver. Um. And it's just so difficult to explain, but basically it works. People who works in Illustrator, they know that if you have a line that overlapping another line, you can mm. basically just take the eraser and click, click on, on it, it and yeah. it's gone. And you have this perfect sharp lines. Mm. And mm. you can't do that in Photoshop because it's picture based and you need to just, you know, scrub yeah, the yeah, eraser. Yeah. It's pretty for much a paper. So what you're saying yeah. is if you have yeah. the letter A, you can press the line in the middle. Yeah, and remove and, and remove it without a problem. Exactly, you perfect, you, you just need perfect. to click on it. Yeah. yeah, but also when it comes to doing the flats, yeah, because uh, you can choose the you, first of all you draw you you draw you draw you draw yeah I'm Australian, <laughs> um, you draw Sorry, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> you draw the line work the line art <laughs> in one layer yeah, yeah. yeah, and then basically you have the flat layers underneath it. But you click on a little, it looks like a lighthouse. You click on the lighthouse layer, which you have your line arts. Yeah. And that would work as a thing that will base what your next layer will be taking influence from. So then you can do, you can put all your flats on a separate layer underneath it, but it will, it will be based on the line art. So you can just click, 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 click. And you're done with the flats. You don't what? need to go with. You the don't have pen. to paint. The no, flats. you you, you just, just you, you you use so you so use it's like a coloring book. Yeah, you cl- you click basically. You basically this click on one button on your line art layer. Yeah. And then you take the paint bucket and then you do the boop 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 oh and you're God. done. You're done in basically one minute. Which oh, in photo, wha- which in Photoshop can take you ten or twenty minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. just for and. Uh, yeah. It's just so insanely, insanely good, Rock. and it's oh, and I awesome. can't praise it enough. And every time when I see, I follow this show, Drawfee, yeah. on uh, YouTube, mm-hmm. where basically they just play around and do cool stuff. But they were sponsored by Clip Studio in one episode, Bastards. and I saw that because usually they work in Photoshop. And for me, that has been so used now to with all these small, really good small gadgets and. Mm-hmm shortcuts in clip studio for me it's it's a pain when i'm watching people work in photoshop nowadays because we're like oh my god you can do this so much faster and this is the boring part of drawing digitally you can skip that part because drawing flats suck ass and um they did one episode where they actually were sponsored at clip studio and they did all of that and they just said like oh my god this is amazing yeah why does doesn't Photoshop have this. Mm. But the next episode, they were back in Photoshop and I felt like, oh my, 
why why are you doing this <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but for me when i tried clip studio like the the learning curve was too large yeah, for same. me to yeah, get no. into it fast enough. I yeah. wanted to do my whole. I couldn't even find like in it yeah because they have the comic templates yeah, 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 and stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. Stuff, yeah, it's so simple. But I just never got around to doing it because yeah, yeah, yeah. the same like yeah, it no. just felt like such a big it, yeah. I would have to spend conquer. like the week to kind of just get, get into the basics. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And I just didn't have. I think I don't have time, and I guess they don't have time to kind of rework their you know, their whole, uh, what do you call workflow? Mm. Yeah. Because that, I think, is why Photoshop still is around. Mm. And to kind of explain why Photoshop doesn't have all these features is because of all the legacy, like all the old yeah, code. Because yeah. it's basically like, I don't think you can, like Photoshop is, you know, like code stacked on code, on code, on code that for years you know, as soon years, yeah, but, but as soon as you touch something, you'll break 15 other things, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so that that's where uh, Clip Studio has the upper hand. Yeah, is their legacy is way smaller, and they can do you know, they can take everything that you hate about Photoshop and the the tediousness of it, and make apps for it, which is pretty cool. Because yeah, the thing is that when mm. I use Photoshop nowadays uh, on my computer, mm. it's laggy, it's slow. Yeah, 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 but I guess that Clip Studio is more optimized. It's the same thing with art rage. It's mm. basically made for artists yeah, and not yeah. photographers. Yeah. Because of course Photoshop have way more features when it comes to you know edit photos and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And still, I use Photoshop to just tweak stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. But um, yeah, as you said, it's a legi legacy legacy yeah, 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 legacy legacy problem. Yeah. Because uh, I guess that uh, Procreate. I guess that is way more faster. But that's drawing. the thing. That's why I paint basically everything in Procreate. Yeah, I never it used just, that. So, I mean, I... It's so, but it's the same. Mm, sort so of like, easy to use. Yeah. And it has, like, the, the features are simple, intuitive, and just, like, it's so easy to get into. It, there is no learning curve, basically. You no. Know? Like, you no, just, like, just okay, these are pens, these are sizes, this yeah. is opacity. Okay, I can start. Yeah. Whereas Clip Studio Paint, I did not have that. I was like, okay, how do I get like an airbrush? I was like, where is stuff? Yeah, because like, that, that's the thing. When you open up Clip Studio the first time, the default layout of stuff, yeah, it's, 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 it's just cluttered. Weird. It's yeah. cluttered. It's all so but much. It, it's yeah. so much and so cluttered and it's floating windows everywhere. everywhere yeah. Yeah. But the thing is that you only need 10% of that. I know. Yeah, that's you can, so that was the first thing I did. I just clean it up. Mm. And I only use that I need to use. And if I need anything else, I just open it up. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. one thing that they have that is amazing and really usable is they have this uh, library of different assets yeah, and free the model, saw, yeah. free the models. For example, if you really need to draw a car, and car sucks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, you can just go to their library, yeah, and download on. this free the model for free. Yeah, and and then you can wow. use it as reference, and all that comes with um, characters also. Yeah, yeah I saw whatnot. that. I oh, saw that amazing. with Vespas, cars. Yeah, everything. yeah, no. But that's and why this is the go-to for comics. And, like, and if yeah. you're gonna get you're, into digital, I think yeah. it might be worth investing, like learning this software. Yeah, Although Photoshop is industry standard, so you'll have some problems when it comes to I think smart objects and stuff, and stuff like that. I don't know how how. Like how big of files and stuff can you do? No, they're really good. Yeah, like, yeah, it's okay. way more optimized. Now. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. Now, but as you said, also, I mean, since Photoshop is part of Adobe family, mm -hmm. is if you need to work with stuff for you know Illustrator yeah, or yeah, going yeah. straight, I mean, it's so much more easier. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. of course, it's you can't really stop using Photoshop. No, no. but not um, if you work like us. No, no, exactly. Plus, it just sounds cool. Yeah. yeah, but also I, I just want to just <laughs> say also that Clip Studio, you know, that's my main because I do animations yeah. too, and uh, same thing. There. It's just amazing. It's yeah. an amazing software to draw and well, do you animations. We have a nerd in date, it. and you teach me that shit because yeah. I can't be bothered to do the whole thing. And no, but I mean, I'm exactly like you. I hate learning new software. No, it, I love it. I mean, but I mean, but I mean if the yeah, if you yeah. feel that the step is this high mm. to actually learn a new software, then you of course get. No, I rather just continue doing yeah. my own stuff that yeah. I'm used to. Mm. But when I learned it, I felt like, yeah, oh my yeah. god, why have I wasted oh, my time? Yeah, yeah. 
But uh, I think we'll have you because we're going to have you back. I think it would be really cool to have you talk about the animation part of everything that you do Ooh, because that's such that. a big yeah. It's also awesome. it's such a big part of who you are, and I mean that's really how it all started for like the stuff that you started doing for us. Or yeah, kind yeah. Of, <laughs> I, yeah, it's. Like you've done so much for us, <laughs> you fucking dude. Geek. You fucking released a poster of us yesterday. Yeah, because you had like two seconds for, sh- uh, for shit and giggles. Yeah, I mean, I dude. I I saw that your your photo of your battle chasers. Shut your mouth. When you when <laughs> when, when both of you guys were like <laughs> yeah, tw- twelve years Elliot's old or something. Mom. Okay, dude, we were too old for that poster. We were too yeah. old when we made that poster. I don't know. Did I? I, I don't g- know. Yeah, I gave you that. I guess the what for some reason because I I made that as a thing for school. Like we had to do a poster in uh, yeah I don't remember upper secondary. If you guys mm. wonder, if your listeners wondering what the hell they were talking about, battle chasers, go to the Discord because that and picture that, shame, that, yeah. that picture is still up there. Ugh. Oh, it's always gonna be there. Oh um, man, never yeah, that gives me anxiety. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but I think I probably gave you the printed one yeah. as a goof. Yeah, because my mom has that now. Yeah, yep. there you go. It's in custody. Yeah, but we were like seriously gonna make that movie. Yes, we were. That, That's why we a shitty those. plot for that movie. What was the plot? Uh, like two kids that didn't know each other. We were orf- One was a gambler. Yeah, orphan. Orphans. Fighters. Like pretty much, th- you remember that night out? Yeah. Yeah? You remember yes, that? Yes, yeah? yes, yes. Yeah, yeah we made that, that whole... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll dive into that yeah, next time. Uh, yeah, we need, next time. <laughs> we need to move on. <laughs> we need to move on. Cliffhanger style. Cliffhanger. We'll yeah. talk about uh, that. Uh, moving on to on. the retro. All right. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. <laughs> Skiboosh. Wow. I haven't thought about that uh, since that moment. Yeah, it just, oh, it just popped into my head now. <laughs> Let's move on, though. Yeah, we are moved on. We are oh my on God. the retro. On the retro. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, that was woo hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so I have watched two movies this week. Two movies that are also Halloween themed because it's kind of Halloween. It's spooky season. It's spooky season. Yes. So I watched uh, Jeepers Creepers, that we which talked I about, wrote. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I wrote you guys yesterday. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it, Maddie. Uh, I'm not sure, but. Uh, isn't that similar to the Crypt Keeper? Yeah, no? Pesh, Crypt Pesh. No. Or, no? No. no. Uh, well, it, it kind of feels like it would be a one of those short stories in... Uh, Night. Tales from Tales the Crypt. from the Crypt. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. That's a But uh, yeah. this is just... It's a, it's a feature. It's one movie mm-hmm. with uh, Justin Isn't Long. three movies? Uh, two. Two movies. Maybe okay. three now. I don't yeah, know. I don't I've know. only seen the two. I've only seen that. Uh, but yeah. this one was like in the the not garbage bin. What's it called? The the, the cheapish the, bin. The, yeah, yeah in the sell uh, sell Exactly. So bin. I paid like <laughs> a buck mm-hmm. for it, brought it home, and then we saw it, and it was like, holy shit! Yeah. This is amazing. Like yeah, this Jeepers is, Creepers was awesome. It's such a then. great, just sort of typical scary movie. You know? But wait, what's the main? So the premise, premise is you have uh, a, a guy and his sister on a road trip back from college mm-hmm. and uh, they get harassed by this vehicle that just sort of then drives by and, and leaves them. And they see that vehicle later on throwing out, like the guy that drives the car, he's taking out what looks like bodies and dumping them into like this tube or something when mm-hmm. they drive past him. And they're like... We need to maybe save some people. We need to go back. And then that starts this whole chain of events that leads this whatever the dude is to chase them and try to kill them more or less. And it just evolves into this very supernatural thing that like I'm trying not to spoil it if you haven't seen it. It's an it's old a really movie old now. movie though, yeah. But like if you haven't seen it, I don't want to spoil it because mm-hmm. it is really fun. Did uh, it still hold up? Yes, Very yes, cool. it does. It's so like a practical really effects does. movie as well. It's not. Yeah. Like so this CGI. was uh, I saw it with Santa, mm-hmm. and she hadn't seen it. They're, surprise! Yeah, <laughs> surprise, surprise. No, but she really, really enjoyed it, and she thought it was super fun, even though it has some wonky CG uh, effects course. and all yeah. of that stuff. But they use it sparingly, and it's and really it's more practical. Like, yes, the and it, and yeah. the the mood is there, and it's really I think a great 
Halloween type of movie. Uh, but yeah, pretty much just two people trying to escape this killer, more or less. Uh, but they're in the desert, no? They're in mm, uh, no, it's like, like rural, more like countryside. Rural, yeah, yeah, like countryside. Like yeah, yeah. That typical, you know, you have those just cornfields forever. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, That yeah. type mm-hmm. of scenery. Where every neighbor is like, you know, miles yeah. away. Yeah, you yeah. turn on the radio and it's all just Static. like religious radio stations. <laughs> and there's <laughs> no it. service on your cell phone. But this is from the late 80s, right? Or no, early no, 90s. no, this no, it's is way uh, later. It's I would say early like 2000s. Early 2000, yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Jeepers Creepers. Yeah. Yeah. They made two of them. One is good. Yeah. Okay. That, actually, the second one is pretty good is too. It? I don't remember. Fuck. Right. I really enjoyed the first because one because it back involves then. the story of the first one, mm-hmm. so it's it's better than you think it would be. Okay. Okay. It, now but I just the have first one is is really good. Now I just have some. Now I just have that really strange. But can you see it anywhere? Except uh, Amazon, if you live in the states. I yeah. Guess. I um I wouldn't be surprised if it's on Prime. Let me check. I think it might be on Prime. Uh, so I just want, I have it on DVD. Oh, uh, yeah. So I... Uh, well, yeah, I mean, okay. you have all DVDs. So, I mean, that's not a surprise. Not, not all, but <laughs> most. But uh, yes. now <laughs> I... Because now I got this really strange Mandela effect. Because Jeepers Creepers, it sounds like one of those, you know, classes like Tremors. Wasn't or there a song as well? Jeepers, Jeepers Creepers, yeah. where do you get those beepers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, I thought it was way older. I thought it was from the eighties, like one of oh, those no, classics. No, no. There is apparently four movies. There you go. Yeah, like it says it here at least on Amazon Prime. Oh shit! But I mean, it doesn't surprise me at all. No, but it's, it's on really Amazon. Weird. Even I can watch it. Yeah. It's not even. Like, oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Even so, you can watch yeah, it. It yeah, sounds yeah, like no, you're, no, you're you're no. big enough. No, but, <laughs> no, no, but it's <laughs> there's just something like weird thing with the like the Prime that I have and the Prime that he has, and you know I can watch. Some movies that he can't and stuff. I don't know. No, th- it's unavailable for me. Uh, never mind. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah. But <laughs> for me, it's probably not unavailable. Elias is in his prime, so he yeah. can watch whatever <laughs> he wants. <laughs> but that one is definitely a big Very recommendation. Cool. The second one that I saw, just to speed this along, is uh, another classic, uh, 30 Days of Night. Oh, is that a vampire yeah, one? Yeah, that is. Well, that one With I Josh love. Hartnett and uh, Bobby from Sons of Anarchy. And <laughs> but also, isn't that <laughs> a <laughs> reboot from a Norwegian one? Or is it an no, Icelandic no, one? No, it's, it's actually it's a, it's a comic, comic book. It's yeah. a is it a comic graphic book? Novel, or graphic yeah. novel, yeah. Oh, all right. Yes. Uh, oh, it was amazing. It was so good. I haven't seen it in forever. Well, both of these Neither movies. have I, but 30 Days of Night is something that I that I've talked about Like since we did the comeback, I've mm-hmm. talked about seeing it. Yeah. So maybe watching it in the cinema, maybe next time. Yeah. Hmm. Like could it's, be a cool it's thing. Definitely hmm. worth. Yeah. Another watch. Have you seen it? The no, movie? I haven't. Yeah, but then <laughs> but, we can watch it but, together. All of yeah. But now I realize which movie that I was thinking about and talked about. Forty days and forty nights. No, no, no I was say, no, I, I was thinking <laughs> about that movie. Is it Al Pacino Insomnia? Oh. Because that is because that that's a Isn't reboot that with that, Robert Williams too. Robin, Robin, uh, Robin. No, Williams. I don't think so. Maybe but I not. think that Al Pacino is in it. But it's <laughs> in that reboot because that's American reboot. That th- then they are in Alaska or something mm-hmm. or Canada. The thing. And uh, but it's based on a Norwegian oh. movie from the start. Holy shit! And it's basically Frozen? it's called Insomnia just because there is this detective who wants to go. There's a murder going around up north in Canada. Shit, this sounds and, so familiar. And yeah. he's from LA or whatever, mm-hmm. from more the su- southern southern states, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then go up to Alaska. And hell, what the sun never goes down. It's like Swedish summers, you know. Yeah. So yeah. so that's why he he have this insane insomnia. He can't sleep, uh, yeah, yeah. and yeah, stuff is going around. And so he's, it's so like this he's is half pretty crazy, much the, the half total opposite of that. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I okay. Uh, But I think 30 Days of Night, I don't know where you can see it. Uh, this one, again, I have it on DVD, so Robert we just watched it. Robert has it on it. DVD. Uh, I think it's available. Santa fell asleep like 10 minutes in. I no! She but really wanted to see it, but she just couldn't do yeah. it. But I just heard about the movie that is a really underrated movie because it it's is. really, really good, Dude, but no one really is, saw it. I think it. for me personally, this is the best portrayal of a vampire Dude, in any it's movie. The best. Oh, really? It's just the premise, though. Yeah. Like you have yeah, this that, place... Where like every like thirty years or something like no like no, no, no like no. it's even no this is like because pretty much like the same thing we have here in Sweden yeah, yeah but that's you have what I mean like this valley every year 
like there is oh, one that was month it. that, that is, is it yeah, yeah, yeah the sun doesn't come up for one month mm-hmm. yeah, yeah and now vampires have discovered, discovered this. this city oh yeah so they can so be awake all the time they'll never be a, be afraid of, of uh, sun yeah. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. so they disconnect everything yeah. so this is the north the northernmost part of alaska or part mm. of uh, the states is yeah, where yeah. it is because it feels like if i remember it correctly it's 80 it's miles away from, from the nearest and it's thing. a snowstorm yes uh, yeah, and and the cool thing is that it feels like one of those like survival movies, like where they have to survive the sort of like zombie apocalypse. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. there, like, there's this huddle of people, and there's vampire outside. You know, yes. like it's really cool. Like it's, it's <laughs> the um, the vampires would really like the place where I'm born from because uh, is it's I, kind I, of great killing like ground. The same yeah, because the thing is because the thing is that I I'm from a little village valley. Uh, that's and exactly and what this is. and especially during Christmas morning, I have this tradition that because I know that the sun never rises above the mountaintops where I'm Shit. from. So if you want to see the, the sunlight <laughs> in Christmas, you, have to climb you need to either take skis or the snowmobile, go up on the mountaintop at noon. Then you can see how the s- sun <laughs> is, you know, going down. It's oh the, it's a God, it's a it's a sunset Christ. in noon, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and then you go back then. Oh my god! Because uh, the sun, the sun, really never never hits the house for at least a month. That's that insane. in December. Yeah. So that's like, when the vampires. Yeah, come. that's when the vampires. Yeah, come. they would love it there. So <laughs> thankfully, your family is not that big. Uh, but yeah, no. But this is that's the whole premise of this movie, more or less. Sure. So you have yeah, a month yeah. of darkness, and vampires have figured that out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, and they're there. Need to see that one. It's so good. Well, let's watch Josh, it next time. After Josh Hartnett yeah. uh, being. Like, it's such a weird role for him to be, but he is, like, the sheriff of this town. Mm. But he's still pretty young. This is before the, um, uh, what's the show called? Uh, Penny Dreadful. Oh, Penny Dreadful, yeah. Like, so he's he's a young sheriff in this Alaskan town, and it's, like... But it's, like, I'm But it just that works. It's... It all works. And, well, I think the biggest win for me is definitely the vampires here because they are terrifying. Yeah. And they they are not without, like without the... spoiling too much, they like they have a, a specific language and it's this very sort of native Good. American mm. language. Like it just feels so authentic. Mm. And their teeth are more like like for murdering shit. Yeah, <laughs> like or ripping things shark, apart, yeah. Shark teeth. Like so, their whole mouth is just filled with serrated super sharp teeth so and they are just so fucking horrifying mm-hmm. sounds more like uh alaskan inuit yeah. folklore or something yes exactly they ah. they have that sort of thing. ah cool uh so yeah for for anybody that loves vampires and have not yeah, this seen this movie this is definitely yeah. i think for me one of the best vampire movies out there mm. uh the the comic book is also or the the graphic novel is really mm. good and it's drawn in a very sort of sloppy Isn't style. It like very it's graphic very, style. Yes. Like a very so it just hard feels machine. very like actiony, I guess. Mm. Like it just sharp it's and deadly. So so it's got movement in the whole thing, and it's very gritty and dark and weird. Mm. Like it's just uncomfortable, like in a way. Uh, but yeah, those are the only two things that I've seen this week, apart from the latest episode of Only also, Murders we, in the Building. We don't have time to see anything. So. No. <laughs> yes. And what time are we on? We, we are, are on twenty the, past. Uh, yeah. So, so we, could, we would need to kind of wrap. This yeah, up. we need to start wrapping. All right, retro, Ilias. Yeah, I have seen nothing. Like exactly nothing. I I heard the what the, the Jumanji two play today because oh. my kids skipped school because they both had tummy ache oh. within quotation marks and uh, they were watching Jumanji 2 mm-hmm. so I indirectly saw something Still in uh, so yeah that that's <laughs> I think what I've seen Jumanji 2 yeah Jumanji next Is, level right yeah, oh, yeah. I, I heard them Is stuff. there another character in that movie Who cares? or is it the It's the, no, the girl the, from uh, No but Shang-Chi. Danny, Danny Glover's y- in it Yeah Danny Glover uh, and the the, the the sidekick the the girl from Shang-Chi Oh really Yeah she's in it Okay <laughs> I saw it today because I didn't know who she was before I saw Shang-Chi so There's some other old person in there too right Yeah the it, other old guy Yeah that's not Danny Glover Danny DeVito. 
Probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Danny DeVito is like, in it now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I can't remember either. No, but there's two of them. It's Danny, yeah. it's Danny Glover and whoever the other old man is. Yeah. I didn't see the movie really, so I can't tell. Okay. I seen it, but oh, I seen but it but I kind of forgot about it. Yes, because it is like the first one is exactly what you expected. Mm. Well, the I second enjoyed one, it. Yeah, yeah, no, I, no, I remember no. I enjoyed it too. The first was one was fine. But the second one is like more of what you didn't want in a, you know, like another movie, just like with the same jokes. Mm. <laughs> it's like yeah. exactly the same jokes. But then, uh, oh, yeah, there's a gender swap. Yeah, and the gender swap. And it isn't that funny anymore because oh, okay. they already had the gender swap in the first one. Oh, yeah. That was genius with Jack Black. Yeah. yeah. But it did an opposite, one, right? Yeah. And mm. in this one, they kind of flipped it like... But it's the same joke. Like, Mm -hmm. no matter how you flip it, it's the same joke. Yeah. It's like my brother, you know, like explaining jokes, that one. That's what that one feels like. That's what I do. (laughs) That's my one thing. Okay. (laughs) Moving on. Moving on. (laughs) No, I haven't seen anything. No. Okay, Maddie, what's your uh, big take? One recommendation. Yeah, yeah, my (laughs) big take, but I can't really talk that much about it since you haven't seen it yet. That's uh, Squid Game. I saw that one. Oh, yeah. No, but that's also good because you're coming back. Yeah. And, and that will give will us uh, a it. chance to actually watch or stop watching. Because yeah. though I have definitely been, I think this is the one show that I have been recommended more than any show in history. Yeah, it's also one of Every. those shows that has like broken all the records in yeah. history. Like, yeah, no, this is biggest show in Netflix. Yeah, the most show streamed show ever, ever. I think. Yeah. But like, it, not just foreign, but ever. Like yeah, the most streamed show ever. Why though? Like, why did it become so so? Somebody so sold pop- it in to me and said it's a mix of Old Boy yeah. and Battle Royale. And Battle Royale, yeah. That's and I, I think, it. like, just telling me that, I am in. I'm 100 percent in. Yeah, I that's enjoyed like both those best. movies. Yeah. Have yes. you re- have you read the story about uh, the writer about that show? Did yeah. he kill himself? No, no, no. He, no, he but not. he had been struggling with this to sell this idea for you know. Um, TV shows and whatnot. Now the TV yeah, networks, yeah, networks, the, networks the, the, for the companies. Yeah, what's it? Ten years. Holy and, and he, at one point, he even sold his computer because he needed the money to actually pay the rent. Mm. To just yeah, but he, he he's been struggling with this story for ten years, and now you know Netflix will, will buy it, and now. He's so, the, he's so happy. Yeah, no, is oh my God. So only the story I hope about... he's getting something for it, though. Like oh, the, uh, yeah, 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 definitely. Because I don't know how the Netflix deals work. Like They get paid pretty well. Yeah, no, I think it's great. I mean, it's I think it's just good. like a s- one sum, or is it like, oh, you'll you'll get like a monthly whatever because no of idea. streaming or blah, blah, blah. Yeah. No, I just hope that he gets his due. Hey, yeah, whatever no, happens, I, like his no- notoriety for this will be fucking insane but maddie you also uh, you're pretty into the the dc fandom oh, yeah, but I yeah no. we have time to talk about that no, because no. okay no but i'm, I'm just gonna but go like the, I, i'm just gonna go super fast and i'm just gonna say it. that say the best highlight i mean i i'm i'm looking forward to batman and that yeah. new batman trailer for me it looked amazing and I thought it was a little too much and but, i just felt that uh the penguin Yeah, he is going full Robert De Niro, and I love it. Yes, yeah, <laughs> and, I'm uh, a bit unsure. And yeah. also for me, that I I just love derpy animation and that new Aquaman animated show. Oh, it, I didn't it, see that. It, yeah, yeah I it, it, look it, it, it just looks silly and hilarious, and I love it. What cool. do you think of the new Suicide Squad game? The, what the now? game. Oh. I mean, I. B- I didn't really see that much, and also for me, when it comes to games, I haven't played a game for years. I feel like the last game that I really got engaged with that was The Last of Us Two, mm. which I were I that's one of the best games ever. Mm. Um, and I'm really looking forward to the TV series that's coming out. Yeah, that was insane. Yeah, uh, but um, Pedro Pascal, Pedro right. Pascal, and also that girl who is voicing Hilda. And she oh, she also were in Game of Thrones. She uh, was. Yeah, oh, I did not know that. She were that little queen. Arya. No, no, no. No shit, the little queen. Yeah, she oh, the, she were the badass. Yeah, the uh, yeah, battle queen. Exactly. <laughs> Whatever. Who fights yeah. giants? Awesome. <laughs> she will play Ellie. Oh, cool. Very yeah. Cool. So they only released one picture from the show, and you just see the backs of them, and they watch you know Boston 
no there is a crashed plane or something mm-hmm. on a plane uh, Very cool. nah, I just think yeah, that's yeah. gonna be awesome Very and they cool. show they released some pictures from Boston with you know vines and stuff you know I love when you say Boston though Boston. 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 Oh, but, oh, actually, I, I've i been started <laughs> speaking of post-apocalyptic shows. I've been starting watching Why? Why? The Wait, Last Man. Why? why have you started watching? No. Yeah, why? Yeah, why? I mean, I... Because it, it's a very famous uh, it's, it's comic, comic book. book. Yeah, exactly. No. Um, oh, Why the Last Man? Yeah, okay, why? Yeah, now mm-hmm. I don't, why? Okay, now I'm with you. Wait, it's the same... It's the same people who made... I think about the comic book. They made another really famous comic book. They made Jesus. Saga. So yeah, isn't it Saga? I, th- I have no think idea. So, but yeah. I'm not like. I'm not don't quote me on this. No, but I sure. think it might be that one. Yeah. Uh, anyways, it's good. I mean, I've seen the episodes they release. I think I've seen three of them, mm-hmm. and you know, I'm engaged. Yeah. I think it's. Yeah. I've, I wanted to watch it, but I want to have more episodes. Yeah, too. I don't want to wait weekly. Mm. No, I exactly. Wait for the <laughs> next show. Uh, no, that was the. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just heard that. No, but uh, <laughs> that was good. I've I mean, heard so many songs during this podcast. Just, just letting you know. No, but kept it inside. <laughs> <laughs> no, but when you know when you start yeah. watching a show and in the, you know, in the end of one episode, and you feel like. I want to know what's happening. Mm. I want to see what's going on. And yeah, yeah I, I feel like, yeah, they, they got me. So I'm, okay, cool, yeah, cool. I'm following it. Uh, yeah, sure. I can't actually, wait for this to be I over. saw <laughs> season three of The Sinner and that was really good too. Okay, uh, yeah. It's oh, been out forever about. apparently, yeah, 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 but it's about, now yeah. on Netflix. Mm. Uh, yeah, finished it and it was really, really good. Um, Bill Pullman is fucking amazing, mm. really. But he plays it so weirdly that it feels like he's a bad actor. But he plays it, you know, convincingly. Wait, it's, Bill... it's so strange. But yeah, The Sinner on Netflix. There's three seasons out now, uh, which is all that's been released. Bill Pullman. Is that the actor who is the president in Independence Day? Yes. Ah. Exactly. We're going to live on. <laughs> We're going to survive. Today... We, we celebrate, celebrate our, our Independence, Independence Day. Day. There you go. Yeah. And with that said, everybody, thank you so much for listening. And we need to go and watch <laughs> our <laughs> fucking <laughs> movie. <laughs> Sorry for the super stressed <laughs> episode. <laughs> Next episode is called Stress Book Heroes with Matthias. Exactly. <laughs> uh, now, Ilias has to remember that because he's naming them. Nah, I'm so. kidding. I'm never yeah. going to remember anything. All right. I think we already have an episode. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you, Maddie. Hey. Love you. <laughs>